Cal. Um, I think it's Sen Cal local occasionally. Yeah, he goes but. here. I think he's like fourth or third in Sen Cal now. Yeah, yeah he's been like going that. to Sen Cal Coliseum. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're main local. Yeah. yeah, is that their fire and ice basically? basically. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. It is. Well, going ages. Uh, ages. Interesting. All right. Well. Well, I don't blame him for this matchup, to yep. be honest. I yep. wouldn't want to be Falcon against Ice Climbers. I know. I think uh, uh, D-Tier thinks, thinks it's even, from what I, I've I, heard. I think it's even. Um, uh, but, you know, even in a weird matchup like this is a good Yeah, game. even against Ices is like basically Ices plus one, right? Yeah, no, I'll take it, like, yeah. honestly. And uh, when I played just a lot uh, before, um, and I played D-Tier, too, like, I, what I really liked about the matchup like, um, is that, honestly, Pirate Eats yeah. really is good. Uh, the spacing, just being able to put out hitboxes. And you know what really fucks in this matchup? Well, I'll, I'll tell you when you see it. Is it side B? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised yep. I haven't seen it. Yeah. yeah. It's no. so good. Pirate it, side it's B. Busted. It's so good. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, Pirate side B is so good. Also, what's really good is Mithra Nair, because Mithra Nair perfectly splits the Ice Climbers. The ice it climber does, duo. but you're, you're risking that 50-50. There's no risk for throwing out the side That's B true. in the mid-range, right? That's true. You can just run away. Yep. Uh, Ice Ease isn't fast Ooh. enough to be like, okay, let me go punish you for this. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You, you can get something, maybe side B, yeah. if you're lucky. But it's not going to be a combo side it's B. It's not going to be a combo side B, because it's one of them. You're yep. hitting one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's really nice. Exactly. Well, I don't know. You, you see that clip of Sonic's labbing out, like just running through. Yes, I did. The side view. So, oh, just I, I don't know if Icy's can. I don't think Icy's is fast enough to do that. But I don't think so. <laughs> you're small enough to do it. True. In theory. In theory. Just I like get, this offstage play. Just get an accelerator and you're good to go. Wait. Okay, okay I, thought he was about, I thought he was better. Just eat. Just like just straight up die. Like it's some down throw forward air. I don't think we're used to seeing DJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. Guilty as charged. Don't I've watched wrong. too many of these. Yeah. I mean, I've watched this matchup so often because it's always Salt Lord versus D tier, right? Yeah. That's a, su a super common matchup. Um, and. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh okay. Almost had something. I think you might have been able to get up speed. Or um, down smash? I would have done, done done smash. It's a yeah. little bit faster. Um, and and it's like, but then it's you know, kind of just covering yourself a little bit on the yeah. platform. So. And it's like low key the same power. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. Don't know. I well, I really like down smashes. Uh, just because it's just a speed. But yep. takes that stock. Yeah, good one, up smash. One to two here. Um, I really like to see some more pyro here, to be honest. With you. Yeah, and I think here it is. Yeah, look at that. The flames. Yep. It's so good. Yeah, Pyro does really well. Like, this is one of those few matchups that's like, yeah, this is a Pyro matchup. This, yeah. is a, this isn't an Aegis matchup. This is definitely a Pyro yeah, matchup. Yeah, yeah, and I definitely agree with that. Which so. is crazy because Mithra has such good tools. It's just, <laughs> yeah. like, it's just that little bit closer you have to be to Ices. And, like, if you're trading with Ices, you'd rather be doing it as, as Pyro, right? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, to Jay. I just realized this is the Fire and Ice, fire and fire and ice matchup. Oh, true. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Takes the stock 71%. Not too bad if you're uh, Aegis, you know. Yep. But let's put him in the kill range here. Ooh. And yeah, there it is. Got a desync, but didn't really. I don't think it was a. I don't know what setup he's going for there. But. Oh, oh, oh DI, yep, DI yeah, mix up yeah. on the up on the up air. I don't. I never know how like the DI on the up air works. I don't know if it's. Is it based on where you are in relation to the ICs? Or is it based on? Hold on. D tier. Yeah, let's ask him. Let's ask him. Let's ask him himself. Let's ask him. Himself. D tier. Got a match. Oh, you got a match. All right, yeah, for sure. D tier. Uh, that was. Yeah. All right. D tier. D tier. Can you inform? Can you inform Chad as to a crucial piece of Ice Climbers jank real quick? All right. So here, just hold this real quick. Um. With Ice Climbers up air, does the direction you get hit send, is it based off where you are in relation to Ices, or is it which part of the up air you get hit by? Where you are in relation to Ices. So if you're in front of Ices, you get sent out. If, okay. Oh. You get sent out. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. All right. Seeing the, oh. All right. We're going to see the Captain Falcon coming out here in game two. Now, I know that, you know, for what is, I mean, he's already taken one, uh, he's already taken a Nana, so he doesn't have to go much further to get this game. Finds the knee immediately. He's looking angry that he was even put in this situation down a game. So, we'll see. But, I know D Fear thinks this matchup is even, which, you know, I think is, I think it's fair because, uh, 
can definitely uh, be sometimes, I think Falcon has very good tools against a lot of what Icy's wants to do, especially Up Smash. Up Smash will cover essentially all of how Icy's wants to approach with the setups, the desyncs, right? Um, just like the a little bit of spacing and the speed at which you move as, I mean, already taking out another Nana. So really does not matter. He's just going all the time. And even though he's taken, uh, he's taking a stock, so it is even, but it's just, just Popo. And against Isis, against Captain Falcon, it can be very hard, especially Axiom. Axiom is a very, oh, very practiced uh, Captain Falcon, uh, really good in Send Cal right now. And, uh, you know, he's just here to really take somebody out. One choice you can separate the rush Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think that's what like I think that's what Captain Falcon really wants to do, right? Is use the speed and not necessarily maybe not the frame data, because I know Captain Falcon's moves can sometimes be a little slow. Um, but Falcon's good fast attributes to kind of just overwhelm um, the Ice Climber duo. And, I mean, which he's been doing. He's been doing a phenomenal job killing uh, killing Nana at like well, the, well, I hope at like 20, right? So great work there. Uh, finding that stomp, but is it commentating right now? No, you can hop on. I think Strike had to go play his match, and Senpai had to as well. Are the commentators so welcome? Everybody, welcome Cashew to the bench. Congratulations on your doubles placements. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So Axiom took game one against Infamous's. Oh, oh that killed at 60 damn. after the hit. Okay, or 70 okay. after the hit, I guess. But damn, that's. Very dominant second game after it was a very close uh, game Wait. one against Infamous's uh, I, uh, Aegis. Oh, did he win? He lost against well, Axiom beat the Aegis and then okay. got kind of cleaned up in game two against the Captain Falcon. Uh, yeah. We'll have to see how it goes. But hey, yeah, you know, it'd be fun to see a first seed upset. That would be insane. <laughs> Let's see where we go from here. I don't know what the stage counter pick's really gonna be looking like. I don't. I think it's just not. You just don't leave uh le leave one of the FDs open, right? Oh yeah, no. You definitely don't want the. Yeah, but everything else should realistically be fine. Yep, small battlefield. You know, that's fine for both these characters, right? Yeah. They're both gonna okay. get a little. They're both gonna get a mild yeah. amount of jank off this stage. How how, how much has uh, Axiom? Done like desync stuff. Not a, he hasn't done a ton of desyncs. It's been a lot of more. It's been a lot of. It's been less desyncs than D tier. I mean, kind of obvious, yeah. right? But he's also had like he's been less, a little less consistent with his uh, like Nana protection. Okay. A lot of the times, uh, Infamous has kind of just been like, yeah, I'm just gonna like do 90 to Nana, and then I'm gonna kill her while Popo's at 20. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. Man. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Exactly. I mean, 83 doesn't. Yeah, exactly. But like, on the other hand. I mean, Ooh, so, uh, so pose the goat. So, so pose, pose the, goat. the goat. Yeah, true. I mean, you never want to be the guy who loses the Sopo, but honestly, Sopo can definitely can still take stocks. That's right? honestly like, like, it feels like that's kind of like the reason why Sopo succeeds is like, oh no, I, I don't want to lose the Sopo. Yeah, and exactly. Up, and then you end up like just getting hit by something yeah. weird, and then you're just like, oh no, yeah, I yeah. got owned by the hook by the Sopo. Yeah, people just end up respecting like Sopo too much. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's not gonna so take So like, it kind of like, feels like Sopo's like weirdly good only because of the fear factor, and that's like. Yeah, it. exactly. You don't actually have it. It's it's like a la you know like ladybugs how they're like they're colored yeah. to be like look like they're poisonous, but they're just not. That's yeah. what that's what Sopo is like. Oh, don't attack me. I'm. Or I guess it's the reverse of that. Like, oh, attack me. I'm scared. Oh. I'm not scary. Oh. Oh wait. All right. Oh, no punish on that dash attack. Yeah. Oh, he. I wonder if I'm would have killed. Oh, oh it definitely dude, would have killed. Nana if he killed just Nana. died. <laughs> Nana just exploded. I mean, hey. Oh my god. The MFA classic. Just throw out an upset. Just with Captain he, Falcon. I Nana, mean, it works. Yeah, it works. It works. I watched him do it so much. Yeah. The polar, especially. Very funny sets between those two all the time. But, yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Have to see. Uh, tried to see. Tried to catch a neutral yeah. for like the landing line top one, but oh. goes right past him. Yeah. And th this right. lead is definitely not like oh. insurmountable. I mean, yeah, almost dying there, barely getting back down. 
So it, this this could definitely like swing either way. It just really matters how much extra credit. Okay, nope. not yep, quite. Good not DI, quite. good DI. We actually we just got D tier over here to explain how um, how you're supposed to DI nan uh, uh, the up air from these guys. Oh, okay, yeah. one thing he also doesn't do that little fourth throw S man thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Ooh, that was oh. a great back air. That was a great yeah. back air. All right, and that's going to be infamous. Moving on, two one over Axiom. So good work there. Going to pull up the bracket real quick so I can uh, inform you all as to the rest of this. Uh, so B type uh, June is going to be played soon. Spirit Dono going to be played. Um, so let's see anybody else. I think all my friends have lost in this point. Yep, Jim Rouge Slime going to be uh, playing as well. Uh, Cash will be playing the, the winner of Legit and B Fan Four. The one, the, the guy from the double team you didn't end up playing. Yep. D tier and Gengu winner of that plays Fork. I don't think I played Legit in like. A year and a half. Legit's the donkey, the Diddy Kong, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's, I mean, his his, his double partner was a Sephiroth, so definitely. Gonna